Hey guys, it's Dan and Tom here from the TableTennisDailyAcademy.com and one of the biggest challenges we see in table tennis is not just technique, which a lot of players focus on, but timing and rhythm as well. You're spot on Dan, getting the right timing is absolutely crucial and in this video we're going to give you three great drills that are going to help you improve your timing. The first and most common reason that players have problems with timing is being too close to the table. Now if you're too close to the table, your shots end up very cramped, you don't have time and actually you end up rushing and not playing a nice relaxed stroke. So in this drill what we're looking to do is take a step or even just a half a step off the table and play in a distance where you've got more time and you can stay relaxed. Okay so if we take a look at me doing forehand topspin, if I'm very close to the table it ends up being very rushed and actually a great example there, straight away it's hard to keep the consistency. You know, it's very tough for me here, I'm, I'm hitting the net or it can easily go off the end. So it's very high risk there isn't it? It's high risk, so if you are struggling with timing, let's keep things simple, take a step away from the table, give yourself more time. Now I've got much more time for my swing, my follow through, I can be more relaxed. So the block's coming through the same from Dan, but I've got much more time to play an efficient and relaxed stroke. So yeah. that's a really great, simple way. Just get confident at playing your top spins from a mid distance, take that step off the table, give yourself more time. So let's take a look at another example here of Dan doing the two backhands, two forehands exercise and how the timing can be really key. Two backhands, two forehands. Let the ball bounce and then play. Bounce, play. I'm still trying to hit the ball at the top of the bounce. Oof. So that was a good example. Yeah. The last backhand was a little bit too early, actually caught the bottom edge and then the mistake happened. So what we're looking to do is give yourself that second. Let it come to the top of the bounce. You've got more time than you think. Don't rush the shot. So I'm going to wait and go this time. Allows me to play my full stroke. And this helps with your staying relaxed. I'm really getting a feeling for the timing point. Nice. There we go. Okay, so the second drill is asking yourself the question, do you feel rushed between the backswing and follow through? Now this is a common error we see among a lot of players. It is. Where when they're playing, let's say a forehand topspin, they're playing the shot, they're rushing back quickly and then playing the ball straight away rather than bringing the bat back, pausing, working with the weight transfer and then topspinning into the ball. If I just straight away bring my bat back and then accelerate, there's no real contact and you lose out on the timing point. So we'll just show you an example of where I'm playing quickly and not pausing. There we go, top edge. Very difficult to get that timing point. So if I play the shot, wait, go. Pause, accelerate, pause, accelerate, pause, accelerate. Now I'm working the energy, going into the ball. So notice how I bring the bat back, ball's coming in, top of the bounce, getting that timing, play. And you can see a huge difference between the quality and the consistency when Dan's doing that. So what we really want to emphasize is having that backswing and then slight pause to allow you to accelerate and also to allow you to get really good timing. If you rush backswing and then straight away follow through, very hard to keep the consistency up. So here we've got some super slow motion footage. Now this allows us to really emphasize the pause that we spoke about. So as the ball comes in and it's rising towards the top of the bounce, Dan brings the bat back and then as the ball comes up, He's accelerating through and that pause is really crucial because that allows him to track the flight of the ball and then judge when it's coming to the top of the bounce and allows him to make use of the weight transfer and energy through the shot. If Dan doesn't have this pause and he simply backswings and contacts, it's very hard to get the correct timing. So drill number three is something that we like to call aligning with the flight of the ball. So as the ball comes over towards me, it will be dropping. Now as the ball drops, we're looking to rotate back, use those legs to bend down, and then the ball bounces up, and as it reaches the top of the bounce, we're releasing through and meeting that ball with energy at the top of the bounce. So I'll drop the ball, swing back and through at the top of the bounce. Again, drop, swing back, through at the top of the bounce. So I'm aligning with the flight of the ball. As it drops, I'm curling back and rotating through, meeting at the top. One more look. And this drill is great because you can drop the ball, give yourself more time to really get used to aligning, watching the ball flight as it comes in. 
and then the next progression is bringing this theory into a rally. So I backswing, meet at the top. Again, so as the ball comes in, I'm drawing the bat back as it's dropping for the backswing, rotating, bending the knees, and then as the ball bounces and rises up, I'm looking to twist through and meet at the top of the bounce. A couple more looks with that feed. So rotate back and through and meet at the top. One more, rotate back as it reaches the top, come through and strike. Now this is a great drill because it works and also links in with drill number one and two. So it's difficult to do this if you're too close to the table, like in drill number one. And in drill two, it also works on that having a pause and then meeting the ball at the top of the bounce. All right guys, so just to re-emphasize, timing's absolutely crucial in table tennis. It's not just about technique. If you look at the top 100 players in the world, everyone has different techniques. So it's about where you're contacting the ball, Improving your timing will help you become more effortless with your shots and have better feeling. Absolutely, Dan. Now, obviously, a lot of different shots require different timing points, so don't forget to head over to the Academy by clicking the links below, where we explain in further detail the correct timing points for a wide range of shots, amongst many other things. Absolutely. So don't forget to let us know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from us on the Academy. Hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.